So speaking of our workouts, Fit Happens continues this hour as we show off what each of the team members like to do for exercise. Mr. Muscles over here. It's, it's not hot yoga for me. No, I like not. to pump a little iron, but maybe I should find something else to do after Chris Powell showed me up. To look like this, to win the Mr. Olympia seven times, Arnold Schwarzenegger spent a lot of time in the gym as he introduced bodybuilding to the world in the 1977 documentary, Pumping Iron. Nice. All day. Look at you. Yeah. There you go. Woo. Well yeah. done. I still do it old school. Oh, that hurt. I don't think any bodybuilder ever has to worry about my skinny arms, but lifting weights is a great way to stay fit and mold your body. There's so much that you get just from, from resistance training, from strength development, to prevention of osteoporosis, to uh, in muscle endurance, To stamina, looking good. Aesthetics, absolutely. Yeah. That's a really big part of it, which is, it's all part of well-being and health and fitness and overall wellness. And if you're sitting at home thinking, I don't want to bulk up too much, don't worry, you won't turn into Arnold. We hear mostly women say that, oh, I don't want to get bulky. The thing is, most women, you don't have, they don't have the hormonal capacity to actually develop that kind of bulk. And if you see women that really put their time in, in the gym, they've got the most beautiful bodies you've ever seen. They're right. the ones with the curves, right. with the shoulder caps, right. and the glutes, and the quads, and the hamstrings. Totally. I so mean, like, mainly if you hit the weights and you do it consistently, you can stay really trim. Absolutely. And you see, one of the biggest misconce misconceptions out there is that so many people think, oh, well, if I'm going to lose weight, I just need to focus on cardio, cardio, cardio. But did you know that if you just do cardio, you will actually lose your muscle mass. Right. In fact, you'll lose one pound of muscle for about every four pounds of fat that you burn. The other great thing about lifting weights, there's always a trainer around like Chris Powell who can teach you a new exercise. This right here is one of the best shoulder movements of all time. It's called the Arnold Press, named after the man himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who invented the movement. So what's happening is as, a, that, that, uh, as your palms rotate inward, you're hitting the front delt, and as they rotate out, outward oh, as you're man, pressing overhead, a good one. you're hitting that lateral delt. So it's a great overhead movement to blast those shoulders. Well done, give me three more. Oh God. Come on, burn them out. Come on, buddy, pump them up now. Ugh. Pump and iron. Ugh. Yeah. Woo. That was a good one. Love this movement right here. Just a classic cable curl. Um, and it's for that big aesthetic muscle right there, the bicep, which is pretty darn functional as well. We all need them. So. And the object to go slow, right? Absolutely. Up and down. Going slow makes them grow. Always remember that. It's got to be a slow and controlled movement. You want to get as much stimulation into that muscle as possible. Because remember, we're not building muscles in the gym. We're actually breaking them down. Oh. And then we're building them. It's kind of like a plant. You got to feed it. You got to water it. You got to give it some rest. And then it's going to grow slowly over time. But right, when, right here, in this hour that we spend in the gym every day, we're breaking our body down. There you go. Come on, buddy. Nice and slow. Make them grow. It's broken down. Give, give it two more, two more reps. Come on. Make him grow, make him grow, pump him up. There you go. There is such a difference because, I mean, I get lazy and I'll bounce and go fast, but when you go slow, there's a huge difference. Absolutely, and, and you know what? The, the beauty of bodybuilding is that you don't need to throw really heavy weight around. It's not about bench pressing 315. Right. You can bench press 225 or 135 and you can make it feel like 315 and when you're going slow and you're focusing on the concentrated movement there, you're getting just as much stimulation into that muscle for growth that you need to get you where you want to go. Even now at almost 70, Arnold is still going strong in the gym and you can bet Chris Powell won't be far behind. There you go. Oh my gosh, that's easy. He stopped it on his chest. Like in a competition. Impressive. Woo, Arnold's got nothing on you. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Very nice. All right. Way to go. Good. <laughs> that was 315 pounds, four Whoa. reps, stopping on his chest. That's quite, crazy. Quite impressive. Yes, Chris, he's Chris a strong is guy. Excellent in the gym, and he—you don't look like that and not be very strong. He's definitely working at it all the time, yeah. too. He right? found the right pro uh, profession. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's meant to do that, and you did very well as well. Oh, thank so tomorrow you. we hit the yoga studio. Oh gosh. <laughs> you want to see me look stupid? Tune <laughs> <No>. in tomorrow. <laughs> no, you're gonna love it. <laughs>